It's the morning after Joe Biden's State of the Union address. And what did we learn? Well, we learned that Joe Biden can rise to an occasion. I think everyone expected him to have fallen off the cliff at different moments between even entering the chamber, climbing the stairs to the podium, delivering a speech, and then exiting. And in fact, he gave a vibrant, vital, and policy-driven speech that cornered his critics at different moments and proved that uh, he's not simply a doddering old fool. He is someone who still has political gumption and is battle-tested, and I think is ready to go into what is going to be one of the longest and most brutal presidential election seasons in U.S. history. So did Joe Biden give Republicans anything to attack? Well, they can still attack his delivery. There were times in which he chewed his words. There were times in which you wondered if he wasn't going to get to the applause line. There were times where you wondered if he wouldn't pull in everything in a conclusive and coherent way. But by and large, he didn't give them anything to really latch on to. In fact, a lot of the Republican criticism last night was that Joe Biden was speaking too fast. Joe Biden appeared too amped up, which of course is quite a, uh, a counterpoint to their previous narrative, which was that he had dementia and couldn't think straight and couldn't be trusted to steer the ship of state along. That's also an interesting and befuddling contrast. They really can't have the old man walking alone in the woods, lost at night, and, and another guy who is so kinetic and sharp and amped up that he can't be trusted. And that's because they were grasping for straws last night. Biden left the Republicans back on their heels and they're gonna have a hard time, I think, coming back at him after the speech. In fact, at two key moments during the State of the Union address, Biden cornered Republicans. He invoked the immigration bill, a bipartisan bill that would have helped solve a lot of the problems at the border. Republicans in the chamber couldn't really come at him on that. They tried to, and the cameras cut, uh, in fact, to Lankford, a Republican, conservative Republican, who supported the bill and mouthed his support for Biden's point. I think another uh, very uh, uh, important moment in the in the speech was when he invoked the fact that the, the GOP wanted to make massive tax cuts for the ultra rich. He got a kind of boo, boo, boo coming from the Republicans and Biden turned that back on them. Oh no, you guys don't want another $2 trillion tax cut? I kind of thought that's what your plan was. Well, that's good to hear. Those were good moments for Biden. The Republicans aired an utter disaster last night in the person of Katie Britt. Uh, it, it was sort of a, a red and green night, I might add, because it began with Marjorie Taylor Greene dressed somewhat like Ronald McDonald, all in MAGA red, uh, looking like someone you expected to be a vendor at a sports stadium. I, I wondered if other people in, this, in, the, in the chamber were going to ask her to toss them a hot dog or a beer. And then you ended with Senator Katie Britt of Alabama, who was in a kitchen in a, in a emerald green dress and looked, I must say, very scary in both her delivery and the strange setting of it all. And uh, I think she gave off very Stepford wide vibes and made the Republicans a caricature. I do not think they wanted the takeaway uh, from that night to be uh, ample scripting power for a Saturday Night Live sketch. sketch. Last but not least, will any of this matter in November? I don't know. This is, we are in March, the election's eight months from now. Um, voters turn on the dime at times around different policy issues, changes in the political environment, changes in the world around us. It's far too early to say. But the main thing that Biden needed to accomplish was to reassure people he could get it done. He did, he did. Uh, as, as my colleague Nia Malika Henderson noted in a wonderful column she wrote for Bloomberg Opinion today, he completed his assignment. He got an A. But there is a long battle ahead and Biden is going to be battle tested. Another thing we learned from last night is that Donald Trump will continue to sit in the corner like baby Huey, throwing hate bombs and using Truth Social as an odd little trampoline for airing his personal and psychological grievances. And he didn't land a blow last night but he's gonna have a lot of time in the next several months to try to. So let's see what happens.